Hello and welcome to the Action Network's coverage of the 2023 Belmont Stakes presented by Twin Spires. I'm Sean Zarill and I'm joined today by Mike Conti and Mike Samich to help discuss their best bets for this weekend's races. And if you're ready to get on the action for the Belmont Stakes and the Triple Crown, make sure you do it at the Premier Horse Racing book. Twin Spires, where action users can use code Action Racing and get to up get up to $400 in deposit bonus. That's easy. Head over to Twin Spires, enter code Action Racing and get granted up to $400 in bonus bets. Mike Conti, big race, big weekend of racing ahead. Plenty of grade one stakes, grade two stakes throughout Friday and Saturday's card. What are some of your best bets for Saturday? Yeah, Sean, really excited to be here. Uh, I'm going to start on Friday in race nine, the Eggcorn. I'm going to go towards the outside, all the way to the outside, in the number eight, a seed at eight to one. Uh, this Chad Brown filly is lightly raced, right? It's only her third career start. She can easily progress off of that eight bells effort last time out. Chad Brown doesn't mess around with his horses. He puts them in spots where they can win. It is not inconceivable to see her just take another step forward. And if she does, she may be able to easily handle this field. Because if you go back and watch what she did in that eight bells, right? She just didn't seem to have that kick late. And I think that, again, progressing third career start, that light bulb moment goes off and you get Flavian Pratt in the iron. So it, number eight, a seed in Friday's race nine, the Eggcorn is one of my best bets. My best bet on the Saturday undercard is going to come in race 11, the grade one Manhattan. Uh, also, ironically, horse number eight in up to the mark. He was also my best bet on the undercard on Derby weekend as well. We're not getting anywhere near the price we are. We were that day that we are today. He's eight to five. I think this horse has just found his preferred surface. There's no, there's not any world beaters in here. I expect to see another top performance from up to the mark in the Manhattan on Saturday. And then in race 12, the grade one Belmont. I am going to have number three, Archangelo at eight to one on top as my best bet. He's got to win uh, over this track at a mile and an eighth. Javier Castellano gets the mount for the third time in a row. Uh, Javi won both of those other starts. And so I think that this horse who's bred both top and bottom for this distance is a really nice horse at a great price at eight to one will be the other best bet for me on the day. Mike Samich, I know you have some thoughts on Archangelo as well as a potential win contender in the Belmont Stakes, but I don't think he's one of your best bets for the Belmont Stakes Festival. Where are you going to put your money this weekend? Yeah, not. Uh, I like him as well. I think all three of those picks are actually very good. I have a seat on top as well in the uh, in the Acorn. So like, nice pick there, Conti. I like it. Uh, I'm going to go to race number six to kick this off on Friday's card. N2X allowance. Give me Rockney, uh, controlling speed, the two horse here, three to one on the morning line. I think that this is one of those horses that just opens up early and is not going to get caught. So the six horse, I'm sorry, the two horse in the sixth race on Friday, Rockney. Uh, I'll then go to the last race on the card, race number 13 on Belmont Saturday. Spirit of St. Louis, the one horse, five to two on the morning line for Chad Brown. This horse has tried dirt twice. Now we're getting over to the preferred surface here. I love the breeding top and bottom to take on the turf. This is also a Chad Brown that has tactical speed. I think that's going to help out quite a bit in the race. So race 13, number one, Spirit of St. Louis. And then let's head uh, to the undercard on Belmont Day. Let's go to race number six, the Brooklyn, the other mile and a half race on the dirt. Give me the two horse red run. Love me some Mike Maker when he claims a horse and stretches him out. Claim this one three back, ran a career best effort two back, then topped that effort last time out going a mile and a half, just missed at a 12 to one price over at Churchill Downs, going a mile and a half again today with a nice pace setup. I think Red Run gets a ton of pace to run into and gets the job done at six to one in the sixth race on Saturday. Guys going against some favorites with their best bets, but we always like some long shots when we're betting the horses. So can you give me some horses, maybe at longer odds throughout Friday and Saturday's card, or maybe even in the Belmont Stakes that you think can either run in the money or potentially win their races? Mike Conti, any long shots you like this weekend? Yeah, I'll give you one on, on the undercard on Saturday. In race eight uh, will be Gilmore, the number 12 horse. This horse, like a few others in this race, is coming out of the Pat Day Mile on Derby Day. And if you go back and you watch that race, Gilmore was riding, uh, was ridden the entire race three, four wide. And on the turn, these horses all fanned out. And Gilmore, in the PPs, it says he's eight wide. 
I tried counting. I got to like 10, maybe 12 wide for this horse. I also think that there's even more pace in here today than there was uh, on Pat Day Mile in the Pat Day Mile race, which only will help uh, Gilmore. Irad gets the call for Brendan Walsh for the second time. So now Irad is much more familiar uh, with this horse. So number 12, Gilmore in race eight, the grade one Woody Stevens. And then going to, you know, the Belmont, obviously my top choice is a pretty square price in Archangelo at eight to one, but another longer priced horse that I think, while I don't think the horse has a chance to win, the horse is an interesting horse to use underneath in your vertical exotics is number seven hit show. Uh, the horse has really never run a bad race, right? I mean, yes, you look at the Derby and you say, okay, the horse ran fifth. If there's such a good thing as a good fifth place finish, I think that's what you're seeing or what you saw from Hit Show in that spot. You know, in the wood, Hit Show just missed and he was playing bumper cars in between Lord Miles and Dreamlike coming down that lane late. And prior to that, he had rattled off two consecutive wins. So I like to see him get back to, you know, that earlier form. Uh, I do think that the, that his running style being a stalking style will be one that will uh, be an advantage for him in this spot. Mike Samich, I know you also like Hitcho as a potential horse to use underneath an exotics for the Belmont Stakes. Any other long shots that you were considering betting this weekend or that you're definitely eyeing as potential bets? Yeah, and there's two horses that kind of jump out to me. One at a shorter price for a long shot, six to one on the eighth race on Friday's card, the grade one New York, uh, the four horse market segmentation, one of multiple Chad Browns in here. Whenever you see multiple Chad Browns, one of them goes to the front. And this is going to be the one that goes to the front. I think market segmentation has a big shot at taking the field gate to wire in the eighth race there on the Friday card, the grade one New York. On Saturday, let's talk about uh, one of the tougher races on the card here. The ninth card, ninth race, the grade one Jiper. Uh, your favorite is going to be Caravelle. She has been phenomenal. Your reigning Breeders' Cup Sprint champion. I'm going to go to a horse that has made some hay here in the U.S., but I like the barn switch on the two. Go Bears, go. Ran second at Del Mar in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint back in 2021. Came back for the Breeders' Cup Sprint last year. I had a tough trip. Ended up running 12th in that race. Switches Barnes over to a U.S. trainer in Wesley Ward, comes back and runs in the grade two turf sprint on Derby Day, ends up running a really good third that day. I think we're going to see a much better effort here. Second off the layoff, second out as a four-year-old, second out in the Wesley Ward barn, and we are getting 12 to one on a horse. The two goes bear, Go Bears Go that should get a nice trip and gets Jose Ortiz. I think the two Go Bears Go at 12 to one is awfully live in the ninth race on Saturday's card. Six furlong turf sprint. Those are absolutely wild. Not to mention we have, I believe, a 15-horse field. So should be an interesting race. Probably the most difficult race of the weekend to handicap. But going with the number two, Go Bears Go at 12 to 1. Thank you both for joining me to discuss your best bets and your top long shots for the Belmont Stakes Racing Festival. The Belmont Stakes Race 12 on Saturday, 7.02 p.m. post time. We'll see you then.